in an embarrassing rebuff for the government, the High Court has declared plan cuts to Lewisham accident and emergency and maternity units are unlawful. Campaigners angry at the move took their challenge to the courts when ministers refused to reverse the decision. Our political correspondent Romilly Weeks is outside the High Court. So, Romilly, a humiliating defeat for ministers. Yes, a humiliating one and one that could have ramifications beyond Lewisham and the hospital there. There have been some very happy campaigners outside the High Court here this morning. They've mounted a vocal campaign to stop the A&E services and the maternity service at Lewisham being scaled back. What had particularly incensed them was that... Uh, uh, Lewisham was being affected not because of its own financial situation, but because of the financial failings of a neighbouring hospital trust, which was losing money hand over fist. And this is what one of the campaigners had to say this morning. We're really elated because there's been such a sense of injustice. The Secretary of State and the TSA were really using bullying tactics to use a, a, the wrong regime to come and punish a different trust and to try to close us down when Lewisham Healthcare truly is a very well-respected and high-performing set of health services for the local community. Now, in addition to all of that, in the next half hour or so, the scandal hit Midstaff's hospital. We'll hear about possible closures there. Could all of this impact on cuts elsewhere? Well, it's certainly going to fuel local campaigns against reorganisations and closures. In particular, what I think the government will have to look at is this practice of making one hospital trust pay for the failings of another. Uh, this is what the Health Minister, Lord Howe, had to say this morning. Clearly, we're disappointed by the ruling. And I say that not just because the government has lost, but because we felt that the arrangements involving Lewisham, which I know are disappointing to the people of that area, were right in the interests of the wider population of South East London. So the government has been trying to argue that there is a strong financial case for these closures and reorganisations, but after this ruling, it's certainly round one to local campaigners and people power. Romilly, thank you. Supermarket giant... win by campaigners who took on the government to stop the downgrading of services at Lewisham Hospital. Today, a High Court judge quashed the decision to reduce services in South East London, saying the Secretary of State acted outside of his powers. Well, Vicky Penner from Save Lewisham Campaign joins me live now. Um, I guess you are all feeling... The smile says it all. Pretty elated. Um, we are absolutely thrilled and we're really relieved that, um, that we've been validated with this campaign because um, this is a really, Lewisham is a fantastic hospital. We get to keep our successful, thriving hospital. And we all knew it was a stitch up in Lewisham nine months ago and it seems to have been validated, this massive community effort that we've had here. Can I test you on the use of that word stitch up or two words with a hyphen, I suppose? The, the judges said that... It's a really the, the technical legal phrase. <laughs> no, no, I know that, but the, the ministers overstepped the mark. You say it was a stitch-up. How do you see that, then? Where did ministers go wrong? Well, I think when 25,000 normal people hit the streets in protest at something, when mums bring newborn babies up to the Department of Health to make a point, when grannies take their trolleys out on the streets to protest, I think any level of big um, community outrage like that, any minister with an ounce of common sense should take notice of and investigate further and find out what's going on because this has been a travesty for the last nine months. And, and I nine think months this is, is a crucial point, down. Vicky. Just very briefly, only, I apologise, time's against us, but you say nine months there. If ministers appeal this judgment, do you stand ready to fight on? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think they'd be idiotic to appeal this. It's a fairly comprehensive judgment and uh, they shouldn't be bullying. I mean, it's been found that they're misusing legislation to bully top-down you know, top changes and closures through to successful, thriving hospitals, and that should not be allowed. And I'm really pleased that democracy has had a voice today. Vicky Penner, thank you very much for finding time for us this afternoon. No worries. Now, 